What's up, YouTube? Coach Guns bringing you NCAA 14 College Football Revamp. Here we are, week five, three and zero against zero and three Kentucky in Lexington. Now, Kentucky doesn't look like much. However, we're on the road in the SEC, so we must be wary at all times. Can't afford an upset. Right now, we're in second place in the conference behind Georgia. And everyone else in the East looks like they may be pooping the bed this year. <clears throat> so, it may come down to that game in Jacksonville. Very well could. And <clears throat> one of my listeners pointed out Alabama. They're not doing so hot this year. Tell you that. And they got more tougher games, too. LSU, that's going to be another pivotal game. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, we're winning games, so we're in a lot better position than we previously were. And we should get two wins in a row here should we got Kentucky Georgia State and then we got that big home game versus LSU and USC before the bye week all these games extremely important with college football playoff implications however it appears that Georgia game is really the most important game out of all of those so we shall see what happens Um, I didn't like how the defense played last week, but <clears throat> they should shut down Kentucky relatively easily this week, so I, I don't want to see no slow starts this week. I, I don't. I do not. Um, so we got to continue to play hard, play good, play fast, physical gator football. And we should be walking out of here with an easy dub. Now, there are no easy dubs in the SEC. But with that being said, this is a team we should be. And a team um, that we should be prepared for. And there shouldn't be any issues. I'll see you guys after the game. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you. Bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. Presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wildcats have been their own worst enemy during this losing streak. Now, to take nothing away from the teams that have beaten them, most of these problems have been self-inflicted. As they like to say, they've got to get themselves off their own schedule, meaning stop making unforced mistakes and see if they can finally get a W. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Florida is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Taken from the three yard line. Brought down at the 23. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Here comes the pressure. 
Tackle made around the 26-yard line. that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 38-yard line, first down. The 30-yard line. The Gators always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Dawson is waiting for the snap. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 43. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. Carr awaiting the return. Tries to get around the corner. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 45. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Slims it out there incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 45. And he tackles him hard at the 49. First down by about a yard, but I'm sure they'll be happy with a new set of downs. First and ten, ball on the 44.
throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. Catches another. He's pushed out of bounds at the 10. His receiving yardage is getting awfully close to the all-time school mark. This is a pretty staggering career figure he's coming up on. To even be this close tells you how skilled he is at catching the ball. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He makes the PAT. A nice eight play, 54 yard drive. And a touchdown to result. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now, 7-0. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 24. The Gators are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Right down, right around the 24-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 24. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Hutchinson awaits the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 35. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Florida up seven points. He's in trouble. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Yard line. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 50. Fires incomplete. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They come out on an empty backfield. Thank you. 
Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. A tight end that has this young man's skills is a real weapon for any offense. He can catch the ball, create mismatches, and force a defense to pay attention to him. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, second down. Florida is up by a touchdown. And they make the stop, the 24-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 19 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 14 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. the 13-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. And he throws it away. This is the 12th play of this drive. Still pretty close. The Gators with a touchdown lead. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Florida is up a score. Kicks away. And he's got it. The Gators running back taken out earlier. Sideline with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Copeland has it at the 5. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Fred, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up, tempo offense. And points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 32. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch 14. Watch 14. Run it. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. We're going to find out what kind of character this football team has. I mean, I thought they had a chance to get back into this game. Now this big interception, let's find out what kind of fight and character they have to try to get back in the game. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Just throws this one away. Here's the throw. 
one. I don't think he got anything on that. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Quickly, and it's picked off. That's a great tackle at the 34 yard line. What kind of call is that? With a big lead, you're throwing the football, and the interception here could end up costing you. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds. The 37-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Put the seven to right. Mark with the seven. Damn! Oh, red 18! Red 18! Put hot! Put hot! <laughs> Third down and seven to go. Ball on the 37. The Gators lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. And he's hit immediately. There was a defender right in his face that time. Yeah, but great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers try to change the field position with his kick this one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. florida's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now it's everything they planned for and it's all working everything is coming together for this offense they seem to be getting better with each series and you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Gets it out quickly. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He airs it out. He's tackled at the 19-yard line. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Throws out to the back and he can't hold on to it. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. yard line. It's third down. And they 
they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Aggies arrive at today's game ranked third, but believing they're the top team in the land. And for Arkansas, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. The Aggies have the lead, 14-10. Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the five-yard line. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Good outside run there. Anthony gains around six yards on the counter play right there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets out to about the 31. He's lucky just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that option. plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Carr fields it at the 27. He makes it to the 35-yard line. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. to 45. He makes it to the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. a bullet over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That gives him the team's all-time mark for receiving yards. Good for him. He's always been a fierce competitor and a great talent, and every time he makes a catch, there's a chance he could do something big. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Throws it away. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the 24. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And here's a quick throw. They can't connect. Incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's a quick throw. It's picked off. Then it's the sophomore out of bounds at the three-yard line.
first down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. He makes it to the six-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Kentucky's going to use their first time out of the half here. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own six-yard line, it's third down. And he's tackled at the nine. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Hutchinson to punt. at the 50. Oh, what a hit. Not a bad return. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The best way to move beyond a turnover is to score. And when you can start in the other team's half of the field, you're in really good shape to have a chance to do this. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. it out to his receiver in a hurry and they push him out at the 26 nice pickup as they connect on the pass play well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game got it and brought down immediately he made a good read here to find his teammate that's sound decision making. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. He fires left side. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. folks third and goal from the two taken down in the backfield you've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table as soon as he saw it was staying on the ground he made a beeline for the ball carrier and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Texas A&M, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. The Razorbacks on top, 27-14. Thanks, Reese. 16 to nothing here. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 16 to nothing, Gators. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. 
to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bean all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense, pitch and catch, run after the catch. All the offense is working. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. And he got it to the sophomore. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick strike and he drops it. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. made at the 42. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 42. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quickly to the tailback, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. Third down again. has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Here's the give. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Wildcats running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. Side. 
Shakes off a tackle. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, second down. He's wrapped up for the sack. That makes it third and 15. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Motion, motion, motion. Here comes the pressure. Passes, and it's almost picked off. That brings us fourth and 15. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Quick throw, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Under heavy pressure. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. He's tackled at the 40. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. Dawson is waiting for the snap. Shoved out of bounds at about the 35. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. This young guy might be feared by more quarterbacks than anyone in the country. That's probably because he's the best at what he does in the whole country. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Gets the ball. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. Throwing left. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Hutchinson awaits the snap. He dropped it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 
So it's second down and about two yards to go. Fires complete over the middle. Brought down around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and ten. The Gators wide out, out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback before this game's over. Fires out to his wideout, and he's level at the 37. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 40, looking right, intercepted, inside the 30, the 10. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. So the officials are going to take a look at some of the replay angles. And what they're looking for is whether or not the ball touched the ground before he had possession. So they'll review this to see if the receiver had control of the ball. But i got to tell you, I think it looked like the ball bounced into his hands. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. Tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Aggies arrive at today's game ranked third, but believing they're the top team in the land. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Arkansas, they get into the end zone through the air. The Aggies lead it by two early in the fourth quarter. Reese, 16 to 7 in our game. Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. Car fields it at the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30. Now, who's in charge of this offense? These guys can't get a first down. They can't move the ball down the field. How do you expect to win the game? Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he's hit immediately. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds. The 37-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 43. That'll make it second and inches. I got one, I got one, I got one. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Taken down around the 36 yard line. First down. That's three down and one to go. The Gators lead it by nine.
just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he's immediately tackled. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Strike to his receiver. No good. And this play is number eight on the drive. Makes the grab and steps out right away. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. And he just gets rid of it. Tenth play of the drive. Throws it. Tipped away. That's the definition of a shutdown corner there. It's very difficult to complete passes against this guy. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Quick throw, incomplete. Blotter is receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Taken down by the kicker. Florida's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. So we're just about ready to return to action. Nice play fake. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 34-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and one. Takes it and he's tackled short. That'll make it fourth and two. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. out of bounds around the 32 yard line from the 32 yard line it's second down throws quickly and it's almost intercepted
he's going to be sacked for a loss. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punt the ball to change the field position. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Second down, six to go. Ball on the 35. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Just under three to go in regulation. And they push him out right around the 34. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Cavalry's coming. Fires that quickly incomplete. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Kentucky's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Stop short, and he'll be stopped well short of the first down. You have the lead in the fourth quarter, and it's third and long. Why risk a turnover? Just play it safe and work the clock. 
This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's got the corner, and he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Inside the 49. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. Makes it out to about the 29. That's a deep. That brings in second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it first and ten. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.